G'day folks, I don't upload much these days because I don't do much machining. I'm mostly retired and any work I do do is uh, CAD work, so that's pretty boring. Because I use a CAD software that nobody's ever heard of, so it'd be a bit pointless doing anything with that. I do, though, write programs for a lathe the same as mine that lives in the UK. Um, and I've been doing it for some time now. Um, this, I was writing this program and I thought I've got some stock for that I can actually make these parts and make a video so that's what I'm doing the company in the UK is called CM Engineering and I'll leave their um, website in the description they make steam fittings for models so if you have a need for anything they do get in touch with them this thread is being cut at 2000 RPM because, to be honest, my lathe can't move the tool fast enough for it to run at 3000 RPM. Someone once asked me, why do I always seem to run at 3000 RPM for everything? And basically it's because when you're using um, brass or aluminium and using a 300 uh, watts its per revolution or whatever it is, um, almost anything that's below about 30 millimeters in diameter goes beyond 3000 and up to ridiculous sort of figures. So that's why I usually run at 3000 RPM. In the early days before I put a Minerick driver on my spindle um, I was pretty much limited to 2300. So when I was able to uh, start getting 3000 RPM, oh, it was just amazing. In this video I'm not discussing making the part really. Um, most of the data is up on the screen. You can see the part being made, you can see the software at work. So basically I'm just having a natter. Something that's probably worth mentioning is that this is running as a subroutine, which is basically just running a loop um, the program just keeps running in a loop and basically it uh, runs as often as you want it to. Okay, thank you for watching.